This is a video to explain the Baker mechanism used in most stokers. Uh, the law in coal stoker used at home use either this mechanism or a very similar mechanism in concept. And you can see how this thing works in here. I'll explain it in the detail. Um, the hopper been taken out and this, take, this is, have been taken out of a stoker stove to show you the inside working. Basically, there's a motor connect to a transmission right there with a crank over there and a connecting rod. This here is called the carpet. The hopper is actually, I'm, I'm sorry, the grate where the fire burns is somewhere in the front in here. Uh, I have a piece of paper with some marking on it, so you're not going to see the uh, grate in detail today. But basically, we have a, a motor and transmission. The bottom of the motor blows air below the grate, and the transmission here rotate this crank about uh, 1 RPM. And what this does, it causes two movement in one cycle. So we have a backward movement, as you see right now, this thing turning in the back. And as this starts going toward the back right here, this adjustable nut will push this carpet back. And it's actually right here. Uh, I have a mirror in here to show you how it works on the bottom. So this will start moving back, and once it's adjusted to the minimum, it only moves back this much. And so it loads a small amount of coal. During the forward movement, the acorn nut in here will push the plate back. Thus, the coal will move forward. It will only will always reach that point. So the coal moved forward, and it was a very small quantity of coal moved forward this time. And it will keep producing a small uh, uh, amount of fire. As I'm going to show you in the next picture, I'll post it. I'll interrupt the video short picture. And so this will continue 24 hours a day. This thing runs at 1 RPM. And again, this is the way it pushes back. You can notice in here it just barely pushes it back. I have this adjust to a minimum right now. So I'm going to show you how to adjust the uh, back how do you load more coal? And you do that by adjusting the backward movement uh, amount of the carpet. And the way it's done, you rotate this nut here counterclockwise, and you set the desired amount how much you want to go back. So we're going to stop right here, and you can see it starts pushing it back. And there, the laser now points right with the marking you can see how far back it went this time so we're going to wait for more complete cycle again you can't adjust this nut in here the slot at the end this always pushes the entire carpet as you see it right now back toward the front right there but by then more coal is loaded because the carpet moved back approximately half an inch and now keep in mind you don't need much movement to keep a good fire going. So here comes the cycle, and you can see it's going a little bit more than before right here. Now you can adjust to go back farther, and you can really have a big fire. And here it comes back again. It pushes on the stick back forward, the crank's moving in here, and there it is, it's right there. So it always reaches the same point in the front, but on the way back, you can vary how far back this thing moves. So pretty much all the stokers work the same way. The key stoker one works differently. It actually adjusts how much forward you push, but the back portion is it's always the same. So there you go. That's a complete cycle going quite a few times.